Roblox is one of my favorite online games. I would play it all the time when I'm bored. I loved playing Roblox as much as I loved playing Minecraft. However, one day I discovered something that made me feel different about Roblox. About three months ago, I felt like playing one of my favorite games on Roblox, Survive Epic Disasters. Sadly, the game closed down. I read the description to see why. It said, abandoned in 1999. I was getting confused about that. But I just assumed it was some sort of update for later. So I ignored it. I was about to leave the game, but then I saw a game that really caught my eye. It said, since 1993. I assumed it would be based on the old 1990s, so I decided to check it out. The description was, really odd. Here's what it said. Not much time saying this. I'm being hunted down. I was testing out some coding, but it went terribly wrong. I tried so much to stop it, but I couldn't. Whatever you do, do not enter. I started to get the feeling that this was one of those horror games where you have to survive some weird creature that came from a failed lab experiment. I read the comments to see that they all said, What was that? Or, Oh my god, what is happening? Do not play. I was getting very creeped out from all this. Though there was one comment that got me very scared. It said, Guys, there's something going on. After I left the game, there was something on my computer. I'm scared. I was getting freaked out from this, so I decided to play the game. When I joined, I was shocked at what I saw. It was a picture of a head with a creepy smile, small human eyes, and bloody tears. All I heard was static. I was starting to get scared, so I decided to close the game. When I clicked the X button, my screen was glitching like crazy. When it finally closed, I saw a picture of the words, See you soon, with a black background for a few seconds. After that experience, I was paralyzed. I decided to leave Roblox and go on YouTube to cheer me up. A month later, I woke up to play on my computer. When I logged in, the screen turned black for a few seconds. When it finally loaded up, it showed a small video. I was starting to get confused, so I watched it. The video was extremely sloppy. It felt like it was made in the 1950s. The quality was a little okay, but it would turn blurry at some times. Anyway, the video showed a nice looking field with a house. There wasn't too much to see, but it would glitch out at times. Suddenly, a shadowy figure walked in. He walked kinda slowly. He also looked a little depressed. Eventually, he would sit down, covering his face. It almost looked like he was crying. After what felt like a minute of him sitting still, he got up and pulled out what I assume was a match. He put the match near the house behind him. Suddenly, the screen started to glitch up, and emit static noises. Eventually, my whole laptop would do the same. I started to hear glitched up torture screams. I was starting to freak out. My laptop started to shake around a little bit, and it started to smoke a little. I was getting scared. I tried to turn it off, but it wouldn't work. I tried every single thing to turn it off, but that wouldn't work, either. I even tried to smash the laptop with my hammer, but it was somehow, indestructible. A few minutes later, my laptop started to calm down. The video that played was a film of a burning house. The thing that creeped me out the most is that it almost looked exactly like my house. After the video ended, a photo of a Roblox scene popped up. It was me, hanging, with blood-covered stains on my torso. The image was so gruesome, that I fainted. A few hours later, my brother woke me up. I saw that my laptop was turned off, and cracked a little. Luckily, it was still working. I immediately went on Roblox to see if my character was okay. I cried tears of joy to see that he was. I searched up the game, since 1993, to see that it was still there, but it wasn't as creepy as expected. The description read, have fun, and the comments were normal comments. Worried, I played the game. The game was just a cool oggy, with a 1990s GUI effect. I was starting to assume that all the crazy stuff I've been through was all just in my mind. I left the game to see if Survive Epic Disasters was still available. It still was. I was relieved that there was nothing bad happening. Suddenly, however, I got a message from someone named, 1999. The message said, I'm actually quite surprised. Not so many people live from this point on. I'm quite impressed. But don't think this is over. I'll be back soon. From, Roblox1999.win. So far, I didn't get any other sightings or anything to do with 1999. But I'm still going to be on the lookout. 
Until then, I will keep it cool. But I am still terrified about the horrible experience I had from 1999.